Portugal, a country well known for its beautiful beaches, wine, women, and of course, Ronaldo. But I came here for a different reason. Apparently, the Portuguese don't exercise that much. So that got me thinking. I should work out at the worst gym in Lisbon. And I found a gym with some questionable reviews, so it got me really interested. The gym even had a 1.6 rating on Trustpilot. It couldn't be that bad, right? Well, there is only one way to find out. Now, looking around the city, the amount of gyms seem to be quite similar to that of Helsinki's. And the data seems to back that up too. So now I just had to buy a day pass and go to the gym. Sounds easy, right? Well, it was not. As it turns out, in Portugal you have to fill quite a bit of paperwork to get into the gym. I'm guessing this was for security reasons, but that's alright. I really needed to check out the gym. But there is one additional step still. You have to download their app to get into the gym. Yeah, who doesn't love downloading an app just to get to the gym? Very convenient. But now, let's go to the gym. By the way, I had to buy another day pass because you couldn't buy the day pass the day before you went to the gym. Rather, you had to buy it on the day you went. That's a little inconvenient. But now, the gym. The gym was probably two kilometers away from our hotel, but because I was feeling lazy, I took the very inexpensive taxi. And after about three minutes in the taxi, I finally arrived. Moment of truth. Now we can figure out whether the reviews were factual or not. So we're here finally. Honestly, the worst gym. My first impressions of the gym seemed quite normal and nothing seemed to be out of place. Many of the reviews said that the reception was not helpful, but that was not my case. I found them to be really helpful. Now, I did find it weird that the gym had probably 10 personal trainers, but only 2 or 3 were with a client. Maybe there's a good reason for this and someone can tell me in the comments. The reviews were also saying that the hygiene and cleanliness of the gym was bad, and in my opinion that just wasn't the case. The gym was pretty clean. As for the gym itself, it was kinda small, but it had everything you needed to train. I mean, I can imagine the gym being busy because it's quite small, but this gym definitely wasn't as bad as the reviews were saying. Anyways, so what's the conclusion about the gym? To be honest, I have no clue why the gym had such a bad rating. Maybe things were a lot worse before and now they have fixed some of it? It's very hard to say, but overall the gym was a positive surprise to me. And now, for no absolute reason, I'm gonna show you some of my vacation pictures in Lisbon. Enjoy! So I guess the gym wasn't all that bad after all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.